I started listening to the audiobook of Don Quixote, the novel by Cervantes in the 1600s, which, uh, to my surprise, was voted as the greatest uh, work of fiction ever written. And since I grew up in Spain, I thought, well, why not uh, give it a shot? It's in old Spanish, um, which takes a while to get used to. But uh, after a while, it's uh, easier to understand. And uh, I think I'm already ready to give a few thoughts about it. Uh, and from a different perspective from what I've heard out there, because I see it through the lens of Ernest Becker and uh, terror management theory in the sense that uh, Don Quixote is a man basically fading into obscurity, drifting onto death, and so he rebels against it. He decides to defy that fate by becoming heroic. You know, he had been reading all these books on chivalry and, uh, um, you know, knighthood and so on. And, um, and he does this once again, uh, to counter that uh, basic insignificance and the finitude uh, of his fate. And that is the fundamental premise of uh, Ernest Becker and terror management theory, that uh, we construct culture, we construct uh, the sense of importance that is imparted to us by culture, the sense of durability as well, uh, by uh, creating frameworks, ideas, beliefs, activities, uh, that allow us to forget about or uh, elevate ourselves above that basic animal insignificance. And, and so you have that initial step taken by, by um, uh, the man that comes to be known as Don Quixote, I think is, what I forget his name, Alonso Quijano, he changes his name, I forget. But uh, anyway, uh, he, um, he, goes, he goes ahead and... Uh, tries to become heroic, but he obviously runs into the difficulties that heroism is uh, is going to always run into, which is reality. <laughs> you know, like Becker says, you you can uh, you can uh, you know dream of the stars, but in the end, you're going to be going to the toilet, right? So uh, everything in his words, you know, comes back to excrement, uh, and so that's what he does. You know, um, over and over again, uh, Cervantes uh, goes back and forth between the heroic, uh, the words of, uh, of, of Don Quixote and then the reality of, of what happens. Uh, but at the same time, uh, it's interesting that it's only through that um, uh, heroic identity that we really can uh, express our humanity and express who we are. Uh, because like I said, otherwise we just drift into this invisibility uh, or anxiety and depression. And so uh, at the same time is necessary. And at, the, and at the same time, he shows how that madness uh, and that heroic status uh, being pursued is part of society as well. In other words, the Don Quixote is not uh, mad while society is sane. Uh, that in fact, these are just different types of madnesses. And uh, that, that these uh, sort of arbitrary heroic uh, uh, pursuits, because, you know, he could have been reading a different type of book, let's say, instead of uh, chivalry, it could have been something else and become heroic through that. And um, it is through that that also evil comes about, because evil, uh, more often than not, like uh, Becker would point out, comes about by trying to bring about a righteous heroic um, uh, outcome to to things in the world. Uh, this could be, well, you know, I don't know, I believe in uh, capitalism or communism, and so I'm, uh, I'm righteously going to march and kill those who, uh, who don't uh, share my belief. Uh, it could be Christianity versus Islam, any belief system that grants you a sense of importance and uh, durability beyond your animal insignificance. And so, uh, uh, you know, we see over and over again how he gets in trouble or beats somebody up uh, because he believes something that is completely delusional uh, or somebody beats him up, you know, so you have this back and forth and um, there are discussions of death uh, and there, uh, there's even a, a nice excerpt uh, that I, uh, I've read. Of course, I have more to read, but um, about uh, you know Sancho Panza talking about how sleep, in fact, is uh, is good in the sense that you don't have the the heroic status, but you also don't have the uh, the uh, low status that. Uh, 
that you know it brings about so much uh, distress to life you don't have the the ups and downs but the problem being that sleep is so close to death and so that's of course uh i think implied uh what uh the the noble uh Eno Quixote himself is trying to counter uh and it is that skill that skill in writing that Cervantes has tremendous uh, beautiful artistry that sort of sucks you in and makes you forget for a second about the illusory nature of Don Quixote's uh, heroism. Uh, he imparts it, uh, imparts it a certain, uh, you know, dignity, a certain and even nobility. And uh, uh, and then, of course, he sends you back to shit again. He sends you back to the excrement, uh, back and forth. Uh, but he also shows you how, how it is through that that really our rationality can also be expressed. Because uh, you know, well, you know, humans are more rationalizing creatures than rational creatures. But in order to sort of function in this world, we we can't be completely delusional. But we we have that uh, interplay between delusion and uh, and pragmatism or reality. And so you see, in fact, that uh, uh, both Don Quixote and the people he encounters, as well as Sancho Panza, have that that dichotomy that goes back and forth. And also the entertainment, you know, life uh, does not have uh, much in the way of uh, an entertaining outlook uh, without, uh, you know, the adventures of heroism and uh, the, the cultural frameworks that are created, uh, which, you know, we can see in our society once again that the activities that we end up creating and the beliefs that we create uh, examined more closely are too trivial and too arbitrary to truly uh, justify the kind of self-importance we provide upon ourselves. Um, and so, um, nevertheless, uh, without them, there is no entertainment. So what uh, Cervantes also does is through his tremendous skill in writing and, and uh, through uh, the, the funny dichotomies and, and all the situations he creates, uh, he, he creates great entertainment and um, also provides tremendous... Uh, um, a tremendous tapestry of, of cultural richness because I, as I can see he keeps bringing in uh, new, new new cultural themes and and even you know the wisdom of the uh, of the uh, of the ages that he's bringing into the novel and that is not something uh, uh, that is uh, that, that happens by chance I think he's introducing it as, as a way to um, uh, to extol the the Ultimately, the uh, the virtues of, of 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 you know or the necessity rather of heroic uh, pursuit uh, pursuits, but then you know also always going back to the downfall and the downside of that heroic pursuit as well.